where do you come to get all your news? You already know, Washington Informer. Hello, it is Misha Green, Washington Informer, Managing Editor. And I am so excited to be with you all on this Thursday morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And I know that we are having better days coming our way this morning because we have the great songstress, entrepreneur. I just learned this morning, uh, media maven as well, Tracy Hamlin on the show. Tracy, hello, how are you? Good morning, Misha. When I tell you, I just love your energy and thank you so much for having me on your platform today. Well, thank you for being with us today. We are so incredibly excited to have you with us. We are uh, excited to hear all that's happening with the Sweet Jazz Festival, yes. uh, which is a two-day event this year, as well yes. as all of the amazing things in the world that is Tracy Hamlin. So let's just start off with all things good. It's Women's History Month. How are you doing? What is life? You know, life is amazing. I'm super excited as I'm preparing for the first time for two days of Sweet Jazz. Uh, my story is when I couldn't get a record deal, I started my own label. I have seven albums and about 60 dance singles. I do jazz, R&B, and house music. But I'm classically trained which is kind of interesting. So, you know, um, during my five years of being classically trained, I sang songs in multiple languages and that was how I built my foundation as a vocalist. And so fast forward to, I am that artist that I'm not a household name, I'm not mainstream, but what I've done has equated to success for many. And I've traveled the world, performed in 58 countries. And remember, I don't have a cash machine. So I'm the record label. I'm the tour agent, you know, I'm the, the booking agent, the tour guide. And so fast forward to, I had started planning private parties for a dear friend in St. Lucia that I turned into a festival for four days, but it was a private event. And because of the success, that's where I started meeting all of these artists because I booked Sheila E., Layla Hathaway, Gerald Albright, Albright Jonathan Butler. So um, being a Loudoun County resident with all of, you know, it's DC's wine country. There are 60 wineries there. And so I thought, you know, it would be great to bring this to Loudoun County because while we are 25 miles from Washington, DC, folks, I kept hearing people say, you know, I really want to, I want live entertainment, but I don't want to have to go into DC. So 2018, we launched the first festival. 2019 was the second, then COVID hit and we restructured and we downsized and we became sweet jazz concerts and we moved everything indoor and we did five of those. And now we're back to the festival, which is going to be a two day ex indoor extravaganza. And so it's Friday, April 19th and Saturday, April 20th. But one of the, the charitable component, which I'm most proud of, is that Sweet Jazz, we use music as a catalyst and a force to give back to the community. So for these two, over the course of these two days, we will give four music scholarships and those students will perform on the stage with the international artists that are on the lineup. And we also give donations to two local charities. So this year we're giving to the Young Kings Movement. They groom young, um, boys and teenagers to become leaders and they groom them for success. And the other organization is called Tiger Lily. They do breast cancer awareness and they advocate and, and, and provide resources for people in need. So super excited. And Lamborghini just came in as a sponsor. So we're going to have Lamborghinis outside beside the red carpet, not one car, but two cars both days. So super excited. The, the support in the county has been amazing. And so we're just hoping that people will come out. We have folks coming from the West Coast, California, Arizona. We have folks coming from Georgia, New York, New Jersey, P Pennsylvania. So we are really, really excited. And for more information, you can go to sweetjazz.com. I am sweetjazzfestival.com. Can't mess that up. Sweetjazzfestival.com. And we'll make sure that we have everything hyperlinked for all of our viewers out yes. there. Uh, which it's a lot of you out there viewing. Say hello. Say hi to Tracy and I. Tell us where you're tapping in <laughs> from. Um, we, we appreciate you being with us this morning. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. 
this festival sounds so incredibly exciting, fantastic, uh, fun. Yes. Um, and one of the things that I really love about it is that you all have put this festival indoors. You know, yes. the that time of year could be scorching hot, uh, right. pouring rain, a little chilly. <laughs> so this is a yeah. guaranteed good time. Absolutely. And we, we, you know, we did the outdoor thing two years in a row. And for months, the weather said, oh, it's going to be sunny. And the night before it rained and the day of it drizzled. And that really interferes with, I mean, it interferes with ticket sales, especially the early bird ticket sales. But I want people to be able to dress up, you know, dress to impress, walk the red carpet and not be concerned about the weather, knowing they're still going to have a great night of amazing entertainment. And let me tell you, some of the artists that we have um, Friday night, we're going to have Art Sherrard, who is an amazing saxophonist from the DMV area. We have Alton McLean. Um, she was the lead singer of a group called Destiny, but she's also the widow of Skip Scarborough, who wrote Can't Hide Love for Earth, Wind and Fire. Don't ask my neighbors for the emotions. Um, mm -hmm. Giving you the best that I got, Anita Baker. Lovely day, Bill Withers. And so she incorporates some of his music in her set. We also have amazing JJ San Severino on guitar, and we're going to close out the night with trombonist Jeff Bradshaw, who was with Jill Scott for many years, and now he tours with Patti LaBelle. And, you know, in addition to being a solo artist, full of energy. And then on Saturday night, Karen Briggs, violinist extraordinaire. She played with Yanni for many years. Diana Ross fired her string section and hired Karen. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. And then I'm going to perform. Woo, woo, woo. And um, and then we'll close out the night with a package of guitarist Adam Hawley, bassist Julian Vaughn, and saxophonist Marcus Anderson. And Marcus Anderson used to play with Prince. So when I wow. tell you, inner, what I love about the lineup is that all of these guys, they're full of energy because some people that don't know jazz and they're not familiar, they just think it's boring. These, you know, people are just looking at the floor. No, these artists, they engage the audience. They're full of energy. So Sweet Jazz Festival, be prepared to be, have your face in the place and be prepared for these artists to blow the roof off the place. <laughs> Look, I, I am so ready. People, make sure you go to sweet, sweetjazzfestival.com yes. for ticket information. Yes. Uh, and of course, the Washington Informer, because we'll have an article. You can, of course, go back and look at this live for info as well. Yes. Now, one of my favorite things, Tracy, about the festival is the fact that it's not just about amazing music, which we know is the highlight, but it's also about supporting the community. And I'm curious why giving back in this philanthropic arm is so important to you based on your background and entrepreneurship within the world of music? Well, I, you know, from where I grew up, music saved my life and music mm -hmm. changed my life. And because I wanted to, you know, I, I decided early on that I wanted to be a singer uh, and I wanted to be a teacher and I did both. Um, I taught music appreciation to kids with dyslexia for 10 years, one of the most rewarding jobs of my entire life. But it was important for me to give back because had I not had music, I would have gone a completely different path. And so if I could touch one life, I thought, wow, I've done a mighty thing. But since 2018, we have given more than 10 scholarships. We have raised, um, we've raised money for five different charities. And it's all about helping people and giving back. And me pursuing a career as a singer really helped me to find my purpose. And my purpose is service. And so it's very important to me as an entrepreneur to even create opportunities for small business owners. Like even with my sponsorship deck, I made sure to have a lower end sponsorship level because I'm somebody that I'm an entrepreneur. I want to sponsor events, but I can't do a $10,000 level. So I put myself in those shoes and I created a small business package. Also, we're going to have multiple vendors. So this was another opportunity for small business owners to come and share you know, their products with the community. So for me, it's all about reaching back and helping others because that's how I got to where I am. And I think that's so important that you have, you know, that the opportunity is there for you to have success. Oh my goodness. That's a mic drop right there, Tracy Hamlin. 
Uh, my purpose is service. That is gonna that's gonna keep me going this Thursday. Is there anything else that folks should know about this year's Sweet Jazz Festival in particular that uh, might make this year a little different than years previous, other than the fact that it's two days? Well, I, I feel like I have really worked hard to lay the groundwork since 2018. So this year, 2023 to into 2024, I have worked the absolute hardest to bring awareness that we are here because that was something that we previously lacked. And so especially the folks in the DMV area, we have more awareness that we're here than we have ever had before. And again, for the first time, it's two days. And so I feel like because of, I tell people all the time, my middle name is Hustle Woman. So, you know, I've attended every networking event. I sing my hello so people will remember. And, um, but I want people to understand that it's not just about the music. It's also about the give back to the community because the service piece is what fills my cup. You know, Great. and yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are preaching this Thursday. Yeah, and it's it's been and it's extremely, you know, like I said before, it's extremely important for me to use my platform as such because like I said, music saved my life and changed my life because I was going down an, a very bumpy, interesting road. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, for me, I got a hold of a Billie Holiday book that told her story. And I had no idea how that book was going to shape my life and change my life. And it is the reason that I was able to stay on the straight and narrow from reading the Billie Holiday story. So wow. that's very interesting as well. What an inspiration. Tracy Hustlewoman Hamlin, everyone. <laughs> I am so, so thankful for your time here on the show. Is there anything else that you'd like to add about upcoming music, upcoming uh, things that we should be looking out for other than the Sweet Jazz Festival? Yes, well, I'm always working on music. Um, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, producer, and engineer. And I tell everybody, especially women, that if you're going to be in the music industry, you can't be comfortable wearing just one hat. You have to be willing to get your hands dirty and do a little bit of everything. And that has been the saving grace for me. So with me owning my own label, I own my masters and that contributes to my royalties. So I get paid as a performing artist. I also get paid because I own the masters. And, and so I enjoy, cause I love a variety. I enjoy dibbling and dabbling. And again, I sing jazz, R and B, and dance music. So I'm always having dance music singles come out, especially during the pandemic. I was releasing new music because I was recording at home. I was releasing new music every three weeks. <laughs> and, um, you know, so my, my, my website as an artist is tracyhamlin.com. So new music coming always A new jazz and R and B albums coming. And, um, like I said, I all, cause I work with producers from all over the world. So I just finished a song this week with two producers from France. I finished the song last week with a producer from Japan. So I'm just, I'm in it. Tracy hustle woman, Hamlin. <laughs> Tracy hustle woman, Hamlin, international recording artist, international yeah. producer, entrepreneur and mm -hmm. festival, uh, producer. Yeah. And yeah, and it's not a lot of women festival owners out there. So no, support, no. Is needed. support is needed. <laughs> support is absolutely needed uh, and, and representation is needed. And so we're so thankful that you were out here and telling your story and creating these amazing opportunities and pathways for other artists. Thank you so much. We are Thank so you. excited about April 19th through the 20th, the yes. Sweet Jazz Festival. Yes. So come on to Loudoun County, okay? The yes. DMV is ready to turn up and celebrate these amazing artists, this amazing initiative. And I just want to give a super, super shout out to you this International Women's History Month, Tracy Hustle and Hamlin for all you do. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And I hope to see you guys at the National Conference Center in Leesburg, Virginia in Loudoun County, April 19th and 20th. We have single day tickets, but we have combo tickets as well as VIP still available. So sweetjazzfestival.com to get your tickets.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Misha. Have an amazing day. You as well. And thank you to all of our viewers. We appreciate you tuning in. Go to sweetjazzfestival.com or washingtoninformer.com for more information. And you know, where do you get, go to get all your news? Washington Informer. We appreciate Washington you. Informer. Yes. <laughs> Have a great day.